Well, hello and welcome to August. I've been terrible at vlogging lately, but I think what I'm gonna try to do is just do like a, stay out of the garbage, a, um, I got my strudel with me. Here's my strudel, my very, very wet strudel. Oh, my heart, I love her so much. Anyways, I just haven't had time to edit or like do anything, like it's so busy and we have so few staff that even though we're, <laughs> getting less traffic than normal. I wouldn't say we've got 50% less staff, but I don't think it's 50% less traffic. I think it's probably like only 40% less traffic. So it's really busy and I get home and honestly, I'm just like, this ain't it. <laughs> and so I've been embroidering and I have been chilling and I have been sleeping and I've been writing a little bit too, which is super exciting, but I have not been editing vlogs. I probably have a backlog of like eight or nine and then I haven't vlogged in like at least a week, I think. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is just like do a weekly vlog. Maybe, maybe we'll try that. Today is Sunday, so we'll go Sunday to Saturday. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes and how I feel. And I have no idea when I'm gonna edit the other vlogs, Never mind these ones, but hey. So let's catch up. Here's the shirt I've been working on. It's coming along quite nicely. Um, I'm still avoiding that. I should really just finish. It'll take me like an hour and a bit. And then I got commissioned to do the Island of Cortez um, by one of the girls I live with because she's going to a wedding and they live on Cortez. And so, yeah, here's that. I haven't exercised in ages because it has been so hot. It's been stupid. Today is the first day it's rained like since the beginning of June. Maybe it's like rained a little bit since. Yeah, there was definitely one day. Um, but it has not rained a lot. And by June, I meant July. And by that, I actually meant end of June. Anyways, so... It's raining a lot today, which is nice because we could start to smell a little bit of forest fire smoke in the air today. So it's nice to have this to put it down. But of course we have a music night tonight. So that's where that is. But I'm gonna go now. I'm making myself some craft dinner and um, I'm just gonna try to chill a bit on my break. I've also been doing a lot of online shopping. This really cute shirt, online shopping. Um, uh, various other things, online shopping. But I've started setting like half to here and then half to my house. So when I get home, at the end of the season, I'm gonna have so many fun things to open. But anyways, I'm gonna go now. I don't think that was for me. So it turns out that radio call was for me and it was like the most stressful half an hour because I'm like trying to teach somebody how to close out a tab. I guess she's never closed out a tab even though she's been here for like a month and a half or something. She's never closed out a tab. And um, so, I was trying to do it by text and that doesn't work, it didn't work. And then she was trying to call me on FaceTime and that didn't work. And so I ended up running over to Strudel's house and her mom was sleeping. And so I definitely like burst in and woke her up, but we got it sorted now. And oh, I feel so stressed and like, we've been on a break for half an hour, but I just started cooking. So I definitely will be a little bit late, I think, but it is what it is anyways. I just have much stress. I think I need to listen to music and zen out. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then eat craft dinner. And then maybe make some garlic bread. Well, hello. And it is now the 4th. So I didn't vlog it all yesterday because, like, yesterday was a weird day. I ended up, like, it was, was it busy? I don't know. But then there was sushi at the house and there was a mess everywhere. And, ah, ah, and now I'm home. And it is 20 after 7. It was... A productive day today. My hair, I can't even with it right now. It's like, hello. Um, we, oh my God. <laughs> I look out from the store and my boss is like sawing a branch off a tree above the patio. And I just watched him for a while and filmed it because I thought it was funny. Not with a good camera though, just with my phone. If I remember, I'll put footage in here, but it's notoriously terrible to import footage from too close <laughs> from my phone to my editing program. So we will see, but anyways, so that happened. And then I was like, well, do you want me to do that? And then so it became like a thing. And then my breakfast buddy and I, our plan was I, I was holding the branch and like putting tension on it. She was sawing and then it like snapped off and and then I was like, well, what do we do with this? Yeah, just bring it up into the woods somewhere. I'm like, okay. 
So I did. I like dragged it and dragged it and dragged it. I was literally bringing a tree basically for a walk. Like it was the size of a Christmas tree. Just me bringing my tree for a walk. And then I grabbed the gator and I went back and I got all the other bits and bobs. And then <laughs> I like ripped up to drop it off at the burn pile. And I was like, oh my God, it's almost five. The boat's supposed to be in at five with our supplies. And so I ripped down to the dock and then my breakfast buddy was looking for me and radioing, but I don't have a radio because she took my radio because um, it has better reach than my, than hers does, which makes sense for her to have it because she's on the dock. But then her radio, which she gave to me, she gave to somebody else because their radio needed to charge. So I didn't have a radio, but I was like, well, look, yep, yeah, there's the boat. So I just went down and she was like radioing, looking for me. And meanwhile, I'm just unloading the boat. It was fine. But yeah, and now I'm home and I'm doing laundry. So I washed it in this house and then I sherpa it down to the laundry room, whatever. So that's fun. And um, I finished the piece that I was commissioned to do. So there it is, beautiful. Uh, I'm just doing the backing for it right now. I'm gonna embroider the people's names on it and then we will actually officially shut it down here. Shut it down, that's not what I'm going for, but finish it and then I can get paid for that, which would be nice. And then uh, I need to start working on my Secret Santa thing because it is the 24th and Christmas is in 21 days. So that's where we're at. But first, I need to eat some food. So I'm just trying to design this with their names on it. And this is what I meant. And um, while well, I wait for my food, and then I'll stitch it real quick. It shouldn't take me too long. I think a white on the back of this would be nice. Just like, ooh, settle. Anyways, I'm going to go now because I am starving and I need to flip something. So, yeah. Hello. What is freaking up? It is oh, Friday the 7th. Ah. So, like, I just, uh, I had, like, no time to do anything is basically what it is. I have no time to vlog is what I'm saying. I have no time to edit vlogs because all I do is work and then I come home on my break and I eat. That's all I have time to do. And then I go back to work and then I work like crazy and then I come home and I eat. <laughs> and then we got Secret Santa coming up, so I got to work on my Secret Santa project. And then just like people want to socialize or I'm just exhausted. And like vlogging is so hard right now because I just don't have time. Like even at work, it's like nonstop because like if I don't have customers in the store, then I have to be stocking or facing or cleaning or whatever. But then when I do have customers in the store, I can't be outside of my little bubble. I have to be inside my bubble because my bubble is my safe spot. Like today we got ice cream in and like you can't just leave ice cream so I had to do that. So, and there's like people that just wouldn't leave and so I was like doing ice cream which is like the sweatiest job you can do because it's like ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, hello, I am doing the ice cream. And then like I finished that and then I was stuck behind the till and thank God I had help because otherwise the produce wouldn't have got out. It was insane, it was stupid, I don't like it. And then it was like just after six when I finally was able to close the door, I just finished cashing out and then somebody showed up at the door and I was like, oh, of course you can come in, like, come on, I'll help you. And then they wanted to get the questions and then I finally got rid of them. And then I left the store and then I was trying to walk home and like, we are full today. The dock is full, like to the point of people are on the airplane dock with no power. Like that's how full we are. The cabins are full. The restaurant is full. Every single one of my roommates, I have three of them. One is a server to help out occasionally. All of them are in the restaurant tonight because we are at capacity. Like they got a stick today, like a two meter stick. And they walked through and made sure that everything was good. So we knew what our capacity was. And so we hit capacity. And then also we're doing a takeout because people just want their food. So definitely the busiest day of the summer so far. And like, I'm exhausted. And like, I need to feed myself because like nobody else is gonna feed me. And that's like a super big inconvenience. But yeah, like I was saying, even when I'm at work, like if I'm not, if I'm not like outside of my safety bubble doing stuff, cause there's nobody in the store, then I'm behind trying to do stuff on the computer. But like, I do invoicing as you know, and like, Today, normally Thursday is the day that I do invoicing. Yesterday it did not happen at all because it was just so busy. And then, and I had other computer stuff to do. And then today I managed to get one invoice done. 
in the entire day. And then the liquor showed up and had to put all that out and it showed up at like lowest tide possible. Thank God I had to stay in the store. And then our sh order showed up and it was so big and there was so much ice cream and there was so much produce. And like, I didn't even get a chance to like look at the stock. The only stuff that I got out was the stuff that needs to be refrigerated. And um, yeah, so, uh, so I'm home now. It is currently 20 to seven. I need to feed myself. I need to work on my secret Santa project. Yesterday I was working on it and then one of the girls came home so I switched to this and I almost have that last bit done. So close, that'll probably be like another hour and a bit of work though. And I hate French knots, like they just, I don't like them. But this is the secret Santa project that I am working on. It's for the chef. So it's like a s octopus wearing a chef's hat with a whisk. Um, and I'm gonna write his name on it. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, also there was a point where my computer wasn't charging properly and I ordered a charger because I was like, damn, this thing, this ain't it. And so I ordered a charger, but I like couldn't figure out when it was gonna get here cause like it wouldn't show up on the shipping and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And then on Wednesday, my computer decided to stop charging period. So that also didn't help with the trying to do invoicing or anything else. Uh, <laughs> And then we like tried pulling the charger apart to like see if there was like a broken wire, but nothing. So I was like, great. So I reached out to my mom to be like, hey, can you see if you can find one of my old laptops? Because I do have a couple old ones kicking around that can at least patch me over until we get this new charger. And then it came in the mail that day, thank God. And it works fine. So it wasn't the computer, it was definitely the charger. But yeah, so it's just been so busy. I don't have time to do anything. My computer was on the fritz. And then like when I come home for lunch, normally that's like my alone time and people always wanna come home for lunch at the same time as me, which is like great, except it's the only time I don't have people in the entire day. And so that hasn't been helping things. And then yeah, at home, unless it's like really busy like tonight, there's usually always somebody here. So like I can't like have alone time unless I'm just very rude and just go to my room. And straight up the other night, I like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go change my pajamas. And, I, and then I just climbed into bed. <laughs> I just never went and talked about it again because I was just so tired and just so overpeopled. But I've been blah, 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 blah. But I've been rambling for a long time now. And so I think what I'm gonna do is put on some music and change into sweatpants because jeans. And then I'm going to do something. What am I gonna do? Probably feed myself. I don't know, maybe I'll just lay on my bed for a while. That's also an option. So yeah, I've been like really stressed and I just feel like I don't have time to do anything because yes to both. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for now. I don't know when I'll be back. I don't know when I'll edit the vlog footage I have. Like I have like probably like six days worth of vlog footage that I haven't touched. I have, yeah. I know I'm just complaining, but I mean, this is just the reality of life right now. Oh, and it's pouring rain. It is like the most miserable day ever to take to. And there's so many boats in the docks. So the internet's gonna suck and just, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna go put on some music and then the world will probably be a better place. And the blows just keep coming. Hello and welcome to Saturday. Um, so this morning, Strudel's mom woke up to find that her stove was leaking diesel in her house. Great. Strudel woke her up at like three in the morning and was like, hey, hey, wake up, danger. And then um, one of the girls went for a run this morning and she twisted her ankle and it's really bad, bad to the point that it might be broken. And um, so uh, my breakfast buddy is bringing her to town currently to see what the situation is. So. We're potentially down an entire staff member when we are already short staffed because of, I don't know, some sort of global pandemic going on. <sighs> and this morning I like walked to the front because I usually go through the front door of the, the store to start the day. And I walked to the front and there were like six people there. And I was like, and I just turned around and I went back and I came in through the bakery. Um, Cause yeah, it was insane. And so Bubs helped me with, the uh, bakery goods because like that's the major reason they were there but also everybody was checking out so like it was insane it was like a regular season it was insane but I'm on my break now I just like I like cried a little when our friend was leaving to go like it's just sad like we all get so attached to each other because we live with each other and we work with each other and we know everything about everybody's lives because 
that's what it is. And so it was very sad to see her go and not know if she's coming back or what's going on. So ah, hopefully we will find out soon. We've got a group text so she can keep us posted. But yeah, it's a very mopey day today. But we will see what happens. And um, I'll show you a picture of her lovely ankle. So that was it first thing. That, not the greatest picture. And then this was it a little bit later. Awesome. Yeah, so not looking good. If it's a sprain, there's obviously a chance she could be, or if it's just a bad twist or a sprain, there's a chance, but if it's a break, she's probably done. So <sighs> yeah, anyways, I need to make myself some food and like put on some music and just like have some me time because <gasps> I have not had me time all morning at all, at all. I think I have a bug bite right there which is not cool. But in very exciting news, there are no boats on the dock right now. And so I was gonna call my boss and be like, I'm just gonna lock the door and go on lunch. And then he came, he was coming over at the time and he's like, you should take a longer break. And I was like, well, I was planning on it anyway, so good. So I'm at home just chilling. It's nice. I'm cooking some KFC because I had um, Sharon bring me in some KFC from town when she went. So it's just always so nice. It's just such a good grab and go. So I have some popcorn chicken here and I think I'm gonna cook some grilled cheese too. I mean, garlic bread, because I'm a weirdo like that. It has been a while since we updated things. So we have reset this room up. That used to be our exercise room because we have a new staff member coming tomorrow. Did I tell you that one of the girls sprained her ankle? I feel like I might have. Anyways, that was a while ago. That was Saturday after like our busiest day she went for a run in the woods and she sprained her ankle So that's awesome and like it is a major loss because she did housekeeping and she worked on the dock and she knows how to do the store and um, Worked in the restaurant too. So like major blow and I'm like Well, I have a friend who I know can run boats But mostly like he could easily run a dock and do general labor and stuff And so I was like would you guys be interested and they said yes And so I reached out to him in that capacity and then he was like well make sure they know I have my boat Licensing like all like SVOP uh, marine medic 60 ton etc. And so I did and he's coming out tomorrow to start as a water taxi driver <laughs> Which will be helpful for sure. So Yeah It'll be great to have a friend out here. Also, my auntie's coming tomorrow for two days, so yeah, uh, a lot of things have changed. I don't know when I last vlogged. It's just, it's so weird. Like today I actually have a bit of a break, which is nice. I think I'm even gonna change out my staff shirt while I have lunch and just chill. Also, ooh, I'm making such good progress on my Secret Santa project. Give me one second and I will show you. All the red is done and I'm getting the pink done now. Once the pink is done, it's like almost done and then I just have to do the Chef Bruce down here. But yeah. Getting very excited about that, and I'm gonna go eat some food now. Hello, today is like the hottest day ever. It is August 17th. I legitimately just stood in the sprinkler. I am soaked now, but it was very much needed because I've been dying all day. Like all day I was just like, I'm just gonna go. Let's go walk down to the ocean. I don't even care that I'm like in the middle of my shift. I'm just gonna walk down to the ocean, but I made it through, so that's nice. It's like yesterday was hot, today was hotter, and I just like, I can't. I just can't. It was non-functioning is what we're at. But yeah, hi. It's been a very long time. And um, I legitimately have no excuses for it other than I've been so busy that like I haven't even had time to do anything besides function as a human, which is sleeping, eating, working, and then also working on my secret Santa gift a little bit. But like that's been it. And then I go to sleep. My auntie was here for a couple days, which was great. My friend is now out here working here, which is great, except like, oh, he's been working a lot, so I hardly see him, which is great because everybody out here definitely needed to have like an extra person out here to like do stuff because they were just all getting burnt out. Oh, but yeah, this is where we're at. I'm working on, so the girl that hurt herself and left is not coming back for sure, so I need to pack up her room tonight because tomorrow they are going. I also need to finish my secret Santa, which is coming along well. I don't want to get it soaking wet, but... Eh. There it is. Most of it is done there. I just need to redraw the whisk for a second time and then write the name underneath. Also, I have like this weird like bump on my finger, so I'm just going to stab it with a needle and see what happens. 
That's normal, right? Anyways, this is where we're at. It's been busy. It's been crazy. It's been hot. It's been stupid. Finally caught up on invoicing, which was nice because I was behind there for like a week and a half. And um, just in time to get behind again, probably, I assume. But I'm going to just bask in the fact that I'm soaking wet right now. Like my shirt and my shorts a little bit. And um, go from there and figure... <laughs> You're so wet and kind of just figure everything else out as we go listen to some music get some stuff done figure out what's going on with my finger here hello it has been forever since i picked up my camera for this disjointed situation that is happening here it is currently august 27th uh, i think the last time i picked up camera was like 10 days ago august 17th when my aunt was here something like that i'm not sure um but she left and then i think it was that friday let me check I can check. Was it last Friday? It was the 21st. It rained so hard. So like the last time I picked up the camera, I think I was complaining about how incredibly hot it was. Well then flip around to the 21st and it was raining so hard. I've never seen it rain that hard. I was at work and for some reason I was like, oh, I should go look out the back window and look at the rain. And I look out the back window and I look at the puddle the lake that is forming at the back door and I open up the door and it is like lapping at the threshold. I'm like, oh my God. So I grabbed a shovel and I started to like try to make a dike and like save the store. Fortunately, when the kids was there, I was like, call your dad now, call your dad now. So he called his dad, one of my bosses. And it got to the point where there were five of us. We were digging trenches to divert the water, found out that the drainage at the back of the store building was not working very well. And so they tried snaking that and once they snaked it, it got quite a bit better, but then they realized that the drainage at the front of the store was also not doing the greatest. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Oh, I will continue the story in a second. Look, I got a visitor. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> I love this dog. Anyways, so the, <laughs> they checked the drainage at the front of the store and it was not working. So they tried to snake it, but it would just keep getting stuck and keep getting stuck and keep getting stuck. And so they found the exit part and there was a fungus that was growing in there. Um, so they cleared that up, but it didn't make a difference. And they started like trying to snake and then they dig where the snake would stop. And then there was like roots and dirt and everything in there. So, hi, hello. What are your thoughts on the rain? You're very cute. Yes, yes, yes. So then it eventually got to the point where they're like, well, we're just going to dig up the whole thing. My other boss comes back and we've like dug up the entire yard. And um, yeah, so that was like a two day project. It rained so much. Like we're like, oh good, we got this under control. And then the rain would be like, ha sucker. And then we're like, oh, it can't rain anymore. It's like, hey, hey, guess what? I can, I can rain much harder. And so, yeah, so that was the exciting weekend. And then, hi, hi. And then, like I said, we almost have it sorted. Uh, the last thing, my friend, is just covering everything with... <laughs> Look at this face. It's just covering everything with gravel so that it'll help drainage in the future. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I also have an out date now. I think it is 10 days from today. Um, it's like I need to start packing. That is the thing I need to do. We also had our secret Santa. Um, <laughs> Did I even, like, I can't remember the last time I showed what it looked like. Maybe it was when I finished it. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, we had our secret Santa and that went really well. I'll show you what I got because it's super cute and like, so me. Hi, hi. And it was made by one of my bosses. She's incredible. Look at this dog. Look at him. He's so cute. He's made out of a sock. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, don't, that is not your dog. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. I think I leave in 10 days, so I need to start packing. No. Um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Anyways, my food's almost done and Strudel is very needy. So I'm going to give her lots of pets and, um, eat some food. Am I going to edit? I think I am. What? It's August 30th. So I am happy to report that I did edit the other day. I did a whopping two vlogs. <sighs> but it's fine. However, things have changed. I was supposed to go down on Tuesday, which is like five, six, t a week, a week today. And um, now I'm going out on Friday. <laughs> and I'm a little bit freaked out because the only thing I've packed 
is this right here, this cooler. I have all my clothes. I mean, I gotta do laundry, so. And then I have everything up there. I have everything in this dresser. Well, most things in this dresser. Because I did pack some, but I'm just like, oh, and it still hasn't really hit me. Like, I'm gonna go work for another like four hours and I'm gonna be off today. And then I only have two more shifts left. The, the greatest thing though is because I'm leaving Friday, I get to sleep in Saturday. Initially when I was gonna go on Tuesday, I was gonna go back to the theater Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I wasn't gonna sleep until Saturday, so like I get to sleep in a whole week in advance and I'm jazzed on that. The only downside, like yesterday, I like organized myself and I wrote down everything that I needed to pack and when I need to pack it and <clears throat> that's changed. So tonight I'm gonna do laundry and then pack up pretty much everything. <laughs> that I can and then the next day will be Thursday so I guess I will oh no the next day is Wednesday so I'll like clean and keep packing and then Thursday I'll finish cleaning and um Friday I leave <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go I have to go back down to work but that's drastic change it's crazy like I said it still hasn't hit me like I know I'm leaving but it hasn't hit me well hello and welcome to Wednesday I have today and tomorrow to pack. I did a lot last night though. Hi Strudel. Hello. Anyways, I packed this cooler and it's like super full. So that's nice. And then I packed this last night. This is basically all of my clothes. This has the rest of them underneath these bags. And then I just have like that and like what's there. But those are my staff shirts, so that's fine too. And Strudel, will you fit in my bag? That would be, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. So anyways, I'm on my lunch right now and I'm making food. Today, after work, I'm gonna shower so that I can pack all my toiletries. I guess I have to take my decor down. And um, I think I'm doing pretty good in terms of packing and also in terms of space because I actually have underneath my backpack, my like 40 liter back, or underneath my bed, my 40 liter backpack. And so I think I'm gonna be okay. Like I was like stressing, but I did sell a lot of scrunchies and I'm not bringing out like really any food. I'll bring out a little bit of course, but not too much. And then, um, yeah, I have just some things in there. So I think we're doing all right. My goal by the end of today is to be like 98% packed, basically everything except for the stuff that I need to have immediately like to sleep in and to wear and to brush my teeth and face and all that kind of stuff. So that is the goal for today. I just packed up my Switch um, because I doubt I'm gonna play it. And if, if, I if I do suddenly decide to play it, I can just play it handheld, of course. Um, but yeah, so that is where we're at. Uh, my friend who I got a job out here just went for some days off. So by the time he comes back, I'll already be gone. Um, so maybe I'll see him in town over the weekend. I don't know, but I'm honestly Saturday is so stoked just gonna sleep in I already told my mom. I'm like mom. This is what we're gonna do on Friday. <laughs> I want McDonald's fries <laughs> I want to buy a bunch of stuff that I wanted to eat like some bacon and hash browns and English muffins like everything I've been craving I want it so that's where we're at, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about the packing situation, which is great because honestly, like I, I planned everything out on my agenda. So like I knew everything I had to pack every night and then I lost five days. It's fine. Anyways, today the adults are all away um, and now I've come on my break. So I've been, there was a period there where the other two girls were on lunch as well. So I was monitoring the dispatch email. I was monitoring the phone. I was monitoring the dock and the store and, 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 and so I was like, oh, so I couldn't get anything done because I couldn't get far enough away from the phone that I couldn't hear it. So I couldn't water plants because like, that's my usual, like, yeah, it's the afternoon thing. But anyways, I'm going to go now because I have been rambling and I think hopefully I can put on some more food soon. I'm making some chicken, 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 baked chicken. And I think I'm going to do fries for lunch and then I'll do rice with dinner with the rest of the chicken. Cause I have like these two massive chicken breasts, like, I had to buy food because I was out of food from the store. And um, I only bought two things, which was like a saving grace because I was like, oh, I'll buy two. And then I think we're supposed to get some more meat in on Wednesday, i.e. today, and like pork chops, which are so good. So I was gonna get them today, but um, I don't need to. I have enough food to get through now. So yay. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I've been rambling for who knows how long because I've turned off the time display on my display for some reason, so I don't know. But I'm gonna go food, 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 and um, 
check in with you at some point, I suppose. And that is the end of it. All right, I'm the last of my tip money. 6.50, I'll take it. Oh, it is the end of my work time out here in Blind Channel for the time being. Who knows if that will change, it could change. I could be back here in like two weeks, who knows, but. <sighs> this is the current state of affairs of the room. I've taken down all my art. I just have to take down the 3M hooks. That tote is packed, I think, to capacity. This one's close. I have random stuff everywhere. A little bit there. The drawers are all empty, I think. Yes, except maybe, nope, everything's empty. And that is packed, I just have this left for space. If I have to though, I can probably move some stuff, some squishier stuff out of one of the totes, but yeah, this is the end. It is just after um, six, it's like quarter after six. And um, yeah, I don't know man, it's like, Blah! And so my evening is going to be spent finishing packing, socializing a bit, eating at some point, and um, what's the last thing? Cleaning. I'm going to clean the bathroom so when my friend comes back, the bathroom is nice and clean for him. But yeah, I'm like, I was like cashing out the till for the last time, and I was like, this is the last time. Anyways, that's where we're at. I, like I said, I still have packing to do and stuff. My boss offered to let me go early today and he's like oh I was just thinking that you might have some packing to do but like I'm pretty on top of it as you can see like I literally just have what's there there and on the floor and on the bed which you can't see ha 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 you still can't see it. ha 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 um so yeah I'm not too concerned and um yeah so I think I'm gonna go make myself some food I think I want to go down to the share bear at some point so I don't know man I'm just glad to be done work because there's like this group coming in and like the payment thing was like not working because normally we like pre-auth and deposits and it was just a thing and so I was just really glad to be off. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go now. Mm -hmm.